CO2 declaration with Vecto. Global warming requires us to act. At MAN, we proactively contribute to climate protection now and in the future. A new EU law provides the framework for this purpose. The law states that all 4x2 and 6x2 trucks over 16 tons that are produced from January 2019 on will be delivered with a customer information file. This document shows the vehicle-specific CO2 emissions as well as the fuel consumption. The customer information file will then be required to register the truck within the EU as of July 2019 and remains valid for the vehicle's entire life cycle. As of January 2020, the vehicle-specific CO2 values will additionally be required for registration of any 4x2 trucks below 16 tons. From July 2020 on, this will be extended to all 6x4 and 8x4 vehicles. All other vehicle classes are excluded from the current legislation. But how are those CO2 emissions calculated? This is where Vecto comes in, a simulation tool provided by the European Union. The tool performs calculations using the same standardized bodies and trailers, as well as realistic reference routes and use cases, regardless the truck manufacturer. Vecto also takes into account vehicle-specific factors, from air drag to engine power, all of which have their respective influence on CO2 emissions. This means that application-specific improvements to CO2 values can be made as early as during vehicle configuration. For example, in long-haul transport, it is possible to decisively reduce air drag and therefore CO2 values by specifically selecting an aero package. In municipal usage, though, it is the vehicle's engine capacity that might have the greatest impact on CO2 emissions. That is why we provide our customers with CO2 emissions of their individual vehicles already with the customer offer, which are directly linked to fuel consumption. But always keep in mind, in actual customer use, application-specific driving situations and loading conditions have a crucial effect on fuel consumption, as does the individual driving style. Therefore, keeping fuel consumption as low as possible is key to climate protection.